hello again and welcome back to another weekend vlog. I thought it would be interesting to bring you guys along on this weekend because I am right smack dab in the middle of slim down September. It's the middle of the day, um, but it's really hot so we're waiting some to go to Bush Gardens later and I have a fun day planned tomorrow as well. So. I wanted to show you guys what I eat during a weekend while I'm trying to lose weight, um, but I'm still having fun and eating at restaurants with my family. Um, I have had, ooh, I'm burning something. Oh man, I burnt my tortillas. Mm. Okay, that's what I get for trying to multitask. I totally burnt my tortillas. Um, I'm still gonna eat those tortillas, I don't care. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, I remember. I do want to say a disclaimer, don't eat like me. Um, th these are not the healthiest days out of my week. I, I eat pretty healthy during the week, but um, it's the weekend and I have plans with, with my family. <laughs> so yeah, don't eat like me, it's not super healthy. It's just what I'm doing to try to stick to my slim down September rules and my macros. So without further ado, I'm gonna eat because I haven't had anything, it's almost one. I haven't had anything other than coffee. I also did have a meat stick, one of these. They're so yummy. It's the Flaming Hot um, from Jack Lynx. Um, it's only five grams of protein, 110 calories, so definitely not the best, but they're super yummy. I feel like I'm eating hot Cheetos. And I'm about to have my standard lunch slash breakfast, um, five eggs and on like this burnt tortilla. <laughs> okay, so I pretty much scarfed <laughs> down five eggs here. I have a little bit left, it's so good. Um, I highly considered um, getting a sandwich or a wrap from Starbucks, but what I've learned in like dieting and stuff is that the best thing to do is really eat at home. It's like, you know how when you were little, your mom's like, oh, we have, we have uh, food at home, so we're not gonna go to McDonald's or whatever. That's possibly the best. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing to do. Um, I did have a second coffee at Starbucks because I just can't help myself. I had an ice shake and espresso um, with sugar-free vanilla, almond milk, and it's like 70 calories. And I was hungry, so I was like, I should get a wrap or something low calorie. But the thing is, the sandwich that I wanted to get is like the bacon, double smoked bacon um, croissant sandwich. It's like 500 calories, and that's actually not that much. The, this breakfast or lunch is like 550 or something like that, so it's more calories, but this is gonna fill me up and give me energy for the gym. The sandwich is hardly gonna do anything for me. <laughs> so it's all about making you know better choices, and a big part of that is eating at home. Um, when you're super busy and sometimes that's not possible it's just going for the lower calorie option that's going to be filling so i knew that i was going to be eating out um later on today because we're gonna be at bush gardens so i decided that i shouldn't eat the sandwich and i should instead have a really really filling meal it's hard when you first start to make those better decisions but the more you practice it, the easier it gets, I think. Okay, it's a little bit later than I hoped. I rested more than I um, thought I was going to. I'm about to take my pre-workout for the gym. I used this one. It was very expensive. My husband got it for me. And it's good. It's a good pre-workout. But it's clumpy. So I don't love that. But yeah, I'm going to make the pre-workout and go. Never thought I'd be a pre-workout girly, but here we are. They are a bit expensive, but in my opinion, totally worth it. I have noticed a great difference in my ability to lift when I take the pre-workout versus when I don't. And it's now part of my gym routine to make a fun drink. Even a low effort day at the gym 
It's a day at the gym. So I'm home now. I'm gonna eat a quick snack. I'll show you guys. This is my healthy, delicious snack. Um, and then I'm gonna shower and we're gonna go to Bush Gardens and I think we are gonna have dinner there. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> Okay, we're making our way to our first show. I didn't know it was gonna be this scary. I feel really bad because Romy is, she is scared. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Many calories. <laughs> I want a diet. All right, so we got a turkey leg. This is my first time having turkey leg at Bush Gardens or Sea World or anything. Mm. Ah! Oh, it's hot. I uh, they usually dip it in like a sauce, but I got a little bit. <laughs> This show starting gave me the perfect excuse to not finish that turkey leg. I put it down and I never picked it back up. I probably only ate about a quarter of it, if that, and it made me super nauseous. It was like too salty or something. I felt sick for the rest of the night, so not a great purchase, but this show was amazing. It's called Jack is Back, and it's basically a giant dance party, which even Romy joined at the very end. We are headed towards Rosie's Gaming Emporium. They have horse racing there. They've had it for a while. Um, I think they started in August, but um, I think there's an event. It's not too clear. I saw it on Facebook, but it's not too clear. We're headed there. I already had breakfast. I know I'm showing you guys what I eat during the weekend, and I haven't actually shown you like my breakfast, but it's the same breakfast that I usually have every day. It's five eggs in cooked in chili oil on these two carb balanced tortillas. And I've shown it in videos before. I had that yesterday and I had it today. Yesterday I burnt it, but today I did not. It was delicious. The turkey leg, quick review, um, not worth it. It's like almost $20 and I couldn't finish it. We had, we had, I hate throwing food away, but we had to toss it um, because neither of us could like stomach it. I was super nauseous going to sleep yesterday and I'm convinced it was a turkey leg. Other than that, it was a great trip to Bush Gardens. Did you enjoy um, our Bush Gardens trip yesterday? Yeah. I, <laughs> I felt so bad because I didn't know it was gonna be that scary. Um, there was a lot of kids, like little kids, families just like us, um, but there was a lot of crying. Like I saw a few kids crying. <laughs> and Romy was really scared, but she did great. Like she did really good. There was a storm coming in, so they paused everything at eight and they closed the park at 10. So we were just like, you know what? We're just gonna go home. And we did so just in time because it started raining as soon as we got home, so good on us all i've had is those eggs my coffee and 
we'll see what I have for like a late lunch, early dinner. Um, and that's probably gonna be on my meal, but I might indulge in like something at this event if it's anything like a carnival. So I'm also looking forward to maybe gambling. I'll give you 20 bucks. <laughs> to start with. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like to like feed the monster inside of me. I'm I have such a, a addictive personality. I don't have a problem, but I do like to gamble mm -hmm. and um, I think somebody is gonna want to gamble too. Just a little bit. Yeah, Just I mean Romy little... loves gambling. Like I don't know if it's in the blood or what, but <laughs> it's definitely in the blood. <laughs> just picked the winning horse but I only bet ten dollars and I picked him for showing uh, third place or better so I should have just put my money where my mouth is and picked it to go first there it is the winning ticket Um, I ate like a full meal and ate chicken nuggets at Chick-fil-A, but it's been like what? It's six. So it's been about almost two hours since we ate and we decided we're going to watch the Little Mermaid movie and snack. So I'm probably going to serve myself a certain amount so that I don't overeat, but I'm still really good on my calories, so. Well, I was gonna put everything in here. Yeah, I'm gonna measure my, my stuff out. Stuff. You can put whatever you're gonna eat in there, and then I'll, I'll measure myself stuff. I'm gonna have one of these, because I love them, the Flaming Hot Meat Sticks. I'm carrying rainy, that's why it's a weird angle. Um, Daddy made some, Daddy made some popcorn. We love those popcorners. We have the spicy queso and the ranch. Don't worry, I will stay within my 2,000, probably go to 2,100 uh, caloric limit. Overall, I did really well this weekend. Tomorrow is just gonna be like a normal, kind of boring eating day. Um, and yeah, I've, I've done really well this weekend and I still had fun, so. I'm pretty proud of myself, and let's hope that that brings results. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!